Hey everyone, Joel Anster, and today we're in Santa Clara, Santa Clara, outside T Villa. Yes, T Villa, guys. Here to do an absolutely giant fried banh mi challenge. Yes, can you believe it? So, a banh mi sandwich fried. So, it's gonna be really interesting. I don't know what to expect. I know there's a couple different kinds, one being like um, popcorn chicken, another one being what they call villa chicken. So, I'll get some more info. I know there's like some unagi sauce, there's some mayonnaise on them, all kinds of really so good sounding items ultimately. The place, of course, is really also well known for their teas, like their bow teas all their drinks like that um, but also a diverse menu so the crazy thing for this challenge though it is a two foot long sandwich and we only have 10 minutes just only 10 minutes to complete it as it's fried dough fried bread I'm not sure what it's gonna be like to eat but anyway I'll head on in let's get you some more info um, yeah that's about it so let's head in let's have fun eat food and uh, wish me luck guys a lot of food very short challenge and uh, yeah so like that let's rock and roll Let's go eat. Hunter Runs, we're here with the fried banh mi, the two foot long fried banh mi. It's very sizable actually. And I tell you, this is going to sit quite heavy. Um, it is fried, fried bread. But it looks really unique. It sounds really good. I've never had anything like this before. Fried bread is a thing in a lot of cultures. Um, and yeah, all kinds of things. So it's very unique feeling. Um, but yeah, really nice looking loaf they started with. Then we got the unagi sauce. Um, and then we have the mayonnaise. So this is the half villa chicken. And then I got half the popcorn chicken. The popcorn chicken also has um, kind of uh, some lovely fried onions and some Old Bay on it. So I'm pumped. There is a bed of spinach and kale under these as well. So we got some healthy vegetables, but that's pretty much about it. We, uh, we might as well just get rocking it and rolling. Um, yeah, like I said, the biggest difficulty is there's just not a lot of time, guys. I mean, it's, uh, it's, I don't know, this is, it's going to be interesting to eat. Um, but at that, yeah, let's get started here just momentarily. Woo! All right, everybody, so let's get rocking. Like I said, I'm kind of nervous, to be honest. I don't really know where to get started. Maybe I'll start with this side. Ooh, this is heavy. <laughs> All right, anyway, guys, how will you get going? We'll say the count of, let's say five, four, three, two, one. Let's eat. Mm. It's actually very good. Fried bread is crispy. Thank you. Hey everyone, welcome to this video. Today we are here at T Villa taking on their undefeated big giant bon mi sandwich challenge. So this is a fried sandwich which was super interesting. Um, a bon mi is a Vietnamese sandwich uh, known for kind of having like a baguette with a thin crisp crust and a soft airy texture. Generally filled kind of like a submarine sandwich um, with like savory ingredients. I've had them uh, most often with pork before, but this is my first time ever having a chicken banh mi, let alone a fried chicken banh mi, at least half of it being fried with a Cajun popcorn chicken and the other being more of a uh, grilled, if I'm like, uh, yeah, grilled, baked, I think grilled, uh, maybe it was fried, but at least uh, kind of a non-breaded um, villa chicken. Um, so like we said, we only had 10 minutes to complete the challenge. Very, very difficult. Uh, again, the meal was about 30-ish bucks um, if we were to fail, but we we're hoping for that free meal. Um, it was really cool. Again, my first time actually ever having fried bread, especially like a fried bread sandwich like this one here. All right, flavors. Just you really good. That unagi sauce, that mayonnaise. I really like that. They kind of battered the fried bread, which added, I don't know if it was just the bread and frying it in general or that batter, but it really kind of added this really nice sweet aspect. It kind of reminded me like a little, little, little bit of like a donut. I mean, it was, it was fried, similarly fried dough, fried bread, nice little bit of sweetness added to that sandwich as well with that, you know, kind of mayonnaise and unagi sauce. Um, really great kind of sweet and savory aspects going on. We're about two and a half minutes in, they're getting there. Get the popcorn chicken down. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Old Ben. The 
the sandwich was quite like heavy and I don't mean like weight wise like weight wise this was a very large sandwich it was very long as well um, but it was quite a heavy sandwich but surprisingly even though it was fried it I don't know if it was just the vegetables and everything it was crisp it was light it was, it was satiating um, overall like I said I was, I was definitely really enjoying the flavor I knew I was going to have to really just kind of shut up and eat for this one because it was just so short in time and this is a you know I didn't know exactly how this was going to be like you know eating it but I anticipate it was gonna be quite difficult um, that being said like I said flavors were really nice uh, definitely a difficult challenge though with that short time limit and uh, that's pretty much the majority of the info a uh, really cool place um, they had a whole bunch of other items like boba drinks and such um, but yeah guys so T Villa um, so at that ultimately let me know down below if you would prefer a fried chicken bomb me or a grilled chicken bomb me give me a hashtag fried or hashtag grilled and let's see what happens four minutes Jim The fried bread is actually really good. The with both of like the batter they put on it and it makes it kind of sweet, which I wasn't expecting. So it's like a sweet fried dough. It kind of reminds me of like a, honestly like an elephant ear or like a funnel cake in a way. It's it's actually surprisingly like really nice. That sweetness of that sauce, though, too, that's a really nice addition. Mm. All right, last few bites. I was pretty quiet for the first bit. I was really worried. Not a lot of time. A lot of food. And a really delicious item, but it takes a little time to eat. Just keep chewing, just keep chewing. <laughs> It was just about seven minutes, pretty much right on the dot. That you know, I gotta say, I don't know what to expect with a fried bon mi. I've had a bon mi before. A lot of bon mi's having pork. This being chicken and fried, I knew this was quite a rendition. But it was actually, it was really good. I'm not gonna lie. I was, I was like, I was a little skeptical, but it was really, really good. The fried dough, like I said, it made this like, really nice kind of sweetness to it. It reminded me of like an elephant ear, just that. It was a nice richness, sweetness. Um, with the chicken on there was really great. I love the one with the Villa chicken. Just the like sweetness and richness of that mayonnaise and unagi sauce. Um, that was great guys, really enjoyed it. 
the uh, bread was crispy. Also, the greens there gave a little bit of a crispy texture as well, like a crisp, a crunch. Um, but yeah, that was really, really delicious. So I do get the meal for free. Um, like I said, that was not a lot of time. I was pretty worried about that, so I saved my words at the beginning. But yeah, honestly, it was surprisingly really nice. Um, really cool, like unique item. Never before I've ever heard of one. But I'd actually say it's worth, I'd try one. Maybe don't eat a two foot long one, but get like a normal one. It was really, really good. Definitely give it a shot. They also have a whole bunch of crazy, cool teas, boba drinks, um, specialty drinks here, which, you know, kind of what they're known for, Tea Villa. But it's more than just a tea shop. They got a, a cool menu. And uh, they, they, got, they got some Cajun popcorn chicken on there. They got Spam, uh, like, what is it? They got uh, Spam Masubis, Hawaiian culture. I must say, those are pretty dang good. We got chicken wings, we got bento boxes, all kinds of cool stuff. So I am definitely gonna try one of the drinks or two. They get, hey, wall here. I have to, they're really well known for it. And uh, that's about that, guys. So, whew, hope you enjoyed that. Definitely quick challenge, a lot of food, no shortage. I enjoyed it though. And uh, so yeah, let's get some drinks and uh, we'll be back here just momentarily. All right, everybody. So I got them in front of me, a whack of drinks. They are very, very, very generous. Um, so I'm gonna try to remember half of these names. That's my goal. So guys, we have three with puff cream. Look at this, look how pretty that is. We got dragon fruit here in that one. Dragon fruit with puff cream, boba. This is a taro with um, the puff cream as well. Matcha with puff cream. Scoop of strawberry, strawberry jelly, sh strawberry ice cream. These ones are called the potted plants, which is super cool. It is basically a uh, boba tea with what looks like a potted plant on top. Look, we got like a Oreo and a little edible green. Um, strawberry wild here, which is a fruit tea, which looks super, super crisp, super, super fresh. Uh, I have um, the traditional brown sugar black here, back here with red beans on it, which I'm just spilling. <laughs> Woo, that is rich and creamy. Just look how delicious that looks. And then I got one more dragon back here with some cheese foam on it. Guys, I'm just trying all these. I'm not drinking them all. There's a lot here, and, but they all look really good. Oh, and then this one, which it's like a uh, three-dimensional one, and then you mix it, and it's something different. So I will mix that one up in a second. Um, good thing I have friends here with me today that can help me drink them. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks to everybody who came out to watch, guys. Like I said, always keep track of the travels. Um, but yeah, let's. Uh, I'm gonna try this taro one first with the puff cream, literal taro on top. You know, like lift it up so you can watch me drink. Oh, hot damn! <laughs> wow. Oh my gosh. This is like. Let's try. Get a sip of that bottom. Mmm. Oh my god, guys. There's boba, the tapioca. It is so rich. Creamy, silky. Mmm. Makes a little taro pieces on here. Mmm. Wow. Just that flavor, though. Woo wee. I'm trying to like get. Mmm. Wow. All right. Round one. We got lots of rounds to go. So taro puff cream, definitely a buy. While well, I'm on the taro kick, let's try this one with the potted plant. I think this is cheese foam too. Mmm. Mmm. Yes. Woo! Guys, cheese foam, Oreo on top, a little mint. Mmm. Great tasting um, taro drink with the boba. But guys, that cheese foam. With the Oreo. Mmm. 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 It's like Oreo cheesecake. And cheese foam. Yeah, it's that good. It's that good. <laughs> and cheesecake, or cheese foam if you're not familiar, it's not cheese as in like cheddar cheese. It's more the cheese taste is in like a cheesecake, which I love, love, love cheese foam. Um, I'm gonna kick over uh, well, I'm on the cheese from cake. One of the dragon fruit, matcha, thing on top. Mmm. Woo! 
Damn, that is good. Sweet. Mmm. And you actually get some like legit dragon fruit flavors in there. And there's real dragon fruit. Got some chunks. Mmm. Okay. Guys. Now we're talking. This is dessert. Huge, like, this is ultimate dessert right here. I didn't expect to have so many drinks. Woo! I feel that sugar already, though. There is uh, no shortage there. Well, I'm on this, uh, we'll try the, this other potted plant. Again, the lovely looking thing that looks like a potted plant. This one's a regular uh, boba, like the regular tea. Mmm. Man, that cheese from that Oreo. Mm. And then just traditional tea, milk tea, the bubbles on the bottom. Guys, mm. Oreo and cheese foam. That should be a thing everywhere. All right, strawberry scoop. Oh my lord, guys. Ooh. I think this is uh this this looks looks more like a freaking ice cream sundae than anything. So I got ice cream and a strawberry jelly. I think just blend it. Mmm. Ooh, it is blended. Wow, it's like a slushy then on the bottom. Strawberry jellies. Ooh. Wow, that flavor. Mmm. Off the charts. Mm. Ice cream on it. Great, great, delicious drink. Mm. Actually, yeah, the ice cream top and those strawberry jellies. Great addition. All right, um, I'll try this one. This is the uh, matcha with the. Um, puff cream. Ooh, and the red beans. So definitely not as sweet as the others. With that matcha, give it that little bit of like bitterness, earthy tones. I still love the bone at the bottom. With that puff cream, gives a nice sweetness. So this is like the least sweet ones you've had so far. Really good. I'd say if you're not looking for a super, super, super sweet thing, that'd be the way to go. Let's try this pot of plant. Mmm. Mmm. Oh man, Oreo and cheese foam. Woo! All right. Um, I'll try this one. Strawberry wild, looks nice and fresh. With some real kind of seeds in it. Ooh! Damn, that's good. Mm. So this is super fresh, super refreshing. We got like a heavier mix in the bottom, a little lighter as we go to the top. Mm. There's some real fruit in that. This is delicious. This is definitely been the lightest of the drinks we've had, being it's not creamy. All right, Whew. dragon fruit, puff cream. This is my favorite looking one, guys. This is just such a pretty drink. And a little dragon fruit on top. Yeah. Mm. Tapioca balls are nice. So again, that puff cream. Give it a nice sweetness. This one again, not as sweet as some of the other ones. Making it again, I think a really good choice. A little dragon fruit on top. Mm. I dig. Like I said, aesthetically, it's beautiful. All right, last but not least, the brown sugar, very traditional boba tea drink with the red beans on top. 
creamy. Mmm. Mm. And that deep, dark, toasted brown sugar at the bottom. Mmm. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. I forgot. The mixture one. Good thing I got friends here today. <laughs> Somebody's blood sugar is through the roof. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this is just kind of traditional toasted brown sugar. But that's a classic flavor everybody loves. With the boba red beans on top. The red beans actually had a nice addition. Kind of balance it out. You can use them like a palate cleanser. Mm. I like the bobas in that. Alright, last but not least. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta say, they're all really good. They're really good, there's no shortage, but there's, a, but there's no shortage. All right, let's try this. So we got it sealed. So we got three colors. And then when we mix it, we got jellies, purpley, swirly. Looks pretty cool. Oh, all right, let's, <laughs> let's, grab, a, let's grab a new one, new, uh, straw for this because this one they're gonna pop through it. Ready? People love that noise. All right, let's give this one a shot. Wow! Mm. Fruity, super fruity. I'll try some of these jellies at the bottom. Mm. Passion fruit baby? It's delicious. Mango or passion fruit jellies or something at the bottom. Mm. Very, very good. Like surprisingly good. Wow. Okay. Huh, now we tried. So many drinks. They were really good. Man, there's a there's a lot of them though. I think if I had to pick my absolute favorites, I'm gonna go with the taro pot of plant just because I love the Oreo and cheese foam on top. Um, secondly, geez, I don't know. This one is really, really good, the mixing one. This one's really good, the strawberry wild. Um, I really like the cheese foam, so I the cheese foam is great. Even just this traditional uh, toasted brown sugar one is great. <laughs> what at that, everybody? I think I need a nap. <laughs> In the meantime, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. T Villa. We got, we got like four, five, six locations around. This one is super, super cool. Mm. I give a huge thanks to the staff. They've been super friendly here. Um, really cool items being a deep fried banh mi or the fried banh mi. I definitely recommend giving it a shot. Great drinks. Great drinks and great presentations. So. Man, that cheese foam hits my, it just hits a soft spot for me. But that's it, everybody. So, hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, definitely stop on by a tea villa. Tell them I said hello. And um, that's about it, guys. So, of course, the next time, say happy, you're happy eating. Oh. Small sandwich and one drink is what you need, not all these. Till next time, everybody. Have a lovely day. Thank you. Yeah, I wanted to see a quick one. Yeah? yeah. I haven't seen that person. Yeah, I got it. I was, oh, little, I was a little worried there at the start. I was like, dear yeah. lord, what did I get myself into? Yeah, especially because it's like a We got the Unagi. Unagi? Then we got the Unagi sauce. I don't really know where to get started. Maybe I'll start with this side. Ooh, this is heavy. <laughs> All right, anyway, guys, how will you get going? We'll say at the count of. There's a long pause. Let's say five, four, three, two, one, let's eat.